Hey everyone, it is Monday the 13th of April, the day after I got all those computers from my brother, and uh, the time is 2 o'clock. It's actually Bank Holiday Monday here in the UK. However, the past three weeks have just felt like one long bank holiday. Anyway, I have, as you can see, I've got this PC over here. All set up, monitor, keyboard, mouse, yada yada yada. I've got my discs. It is all ready to go. That PC monitor needs a bit of a clean. Dusty. A couple of marks on it, but that'll do. It's got built in speakers as well, so I've connected those. Um, I'm still not convinced that, that motherboard came with this Evesham machine. I think someone has done a bit of upgrading on this case. Probably because at some point they liked the case. And I can see why. I like the case. That's actually why my brother picked it up in the first place, because he liked the case. Anyway, I've got a 40 gig Western Digital connected. It is just hanging here in the breeze at the minute, because I find that when you're using used hard drives like this, there's no guarantee that they're going to work. So I never properly install them into the bays until I know it's actually working. So once I've got Windows and everything installed on this, and I know it's all working, and then I'll put the hard drives in. And I know that is definitely not a really good Anywho, we'll fire her up. I have to say, that heat sink is actually pretty clear. That monitor is a bit dark, though. I don't know. I'm going to have to adjust the settings. I know there's no boot. I'm not going to find one from the CD either, but I haven't got one in there. Right. I've already cheated and checked the drives, there's no discs in there. A number of times I've, you know, acquired second-hand computers and laptops and find discs left in the drive. And even I've done it myself, left discs in the drive. Did you just reboot yourself? Has that hard drive already got Windows XP on it? Because I do have a CD that actually boots XP straight from it, but this actually looks like this is actually... <laughs> that's going to be a quick video. I don't have to install it. I just have to install the drivers. Ah. This has got two games on it as well. And I don't remember actually installing them games. Ah, I can see a problem with that monitor as well. And there's a black line going right across the top there. Yes, that's not worth keeping. Obviously because it's a black line actually installing everything. Holy crap. But interesting if it does the audio though. Because I find that one's usually the uh, one XP doesn't like. Ethernet control, it might not like this one either. Hang on. If it doesn't, I'll just go and Google the mother the mother number? The model number. Actually what I was trying to say was the motherboard model number, but it came out as a model number. <laughs> and I found out that these are no good for the hard drives, they're too short. These pegs, they're the wrong spacing. They're more for um, your floppy disk drive, which has already got installed, so... Never mind. It's 
also unusual. Cannot install this hardware. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to hit Google. Being an MSI board, I don't think it's going to be too difficult to find the uh, drivers. But I will pause you when it gets to that. I'll install these games because I don't need those on there. Audio controller, it's not going to do this one either, I know it's not. Um, and the video drivers, I'm going to have to pull that video card out to, uh, to uh, get those ones. All I've got here is my stubby, not a stubby screwdriver. Yeah, I've got the other one. Oh well. Cannot install this hardware, never mind. I'll let it go through all of this, uh, and I'll shut it down. I've got some paper I can just take note of the motherboard on. What's that? Fold that over because it's got some personal info on it. I'll fold it that way, it's not visible. I should have a pen laying in here as well. note of that one up the top there as well. So if I can't find anything under one model number I can use the other one can't I? If that's even a model I don't think it's a model number but there. That's working really well for a model almost. Maybe it's just this surface. USB root hub, that should be okay in storing that, I would have thought. Okay, that's the drawer. Hmm. I would like to add a fan to the rear here as well, so I might have to go uh, and get my box of fans down. I might give this a little bit of a dust out as well. Front fan working. The front fan is not working. And it is connected. Hmm. Could be a faulty fan then. So that might be another fan to replace. The drives go in from the front, not the back. Oh, spiders have been busy. <laughs> that hurt. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my knee going pop. Dust out under there as well. Might get to the fan to change that. It's all your dinky little things. Ah. Yeah, I think the fan is broken. It's got a couple of LEDs lit up on it, but nothing else. Right. Are we done? Nope. <laughs> New hardware is installed, but might not, might not work properly until you reboot. Right. I want to shut you off and cancel that for a minute. What's that? Windows has finished installing new devices. It will be restarted, but I'm going to shut it down for now. Uh, that will allow me to actually properly install that hard drive, perhaps do a bit of cable management. I'm also going to go and find two more 512 megabyte sticks of RAM, so all four slots are full, and that gives this two gigs of RAM instead of two and a half gigs. And uh, I'll be back after that. 
I'm just going to go find some drivers as well. Okay, I am back. I've just gone and got a few extra bits as well that I needed, like some screws. I've got a box of fans, which are just this side of the camera where my hand is, just off camera. Um, and of course, the drivers, which are all on here. So, I've also moved the camera because it'll be better for you to see when I'm putting things into the system, such as the hard drive. But first, plug that in and let that do what it's got to do. I'm going to do some uh, cable managing in there as well. Have I got any cable ties in there? Yes. They're falling everywhere, but I have got some. Good. Because to be honest, all them wires flailing around in there is actually driving me up the wall. Right. So I actually had to look up the 865PE number because I couldn't find anything under the other number um, and it seems like that's a platinum board from MSI so to me that just adds to my theory that that is not the original motherboard for this system I can't imagine an OEM system would use a platinum board I could be completely wrong like I said I don't know anything about Evesham I don't know if they're any good, I don't know if they were complete crap or what. Anyway, there was only three drivers to find for the motherboard, that's all that came up. It's the uh, audio, the ethernet, and I decided to get the um, chipset while I was there. I thought I might as well get everything. It's all there. Um, and the video card um, is a PNY Technologies GeForce. 6600 with 256 megs of uh, DDR 400 RAM. But I managed to find the drivers for that as well. So let's get cracking, shall we? This is the chipset. We'll do that first. It may need a reboot after this. So I'm presuming a fan like this will just clip into that bracket. I don't know if I want to use that one or it's not going to be that one because I haven't got the right connector on it. I'll go for a Cooler Master. Yep, we'll restart. Yeah, I'll go for a Cooler Master in there. that way on. Sneak in, see if I can get that clipped in. There's a clip there, there's a clip there. Ah, okay. I've already disconnected the front fan because like I said the LEDs on it were lit up but the fan wasn't spinning so that fan is obviously a dud. And it was also cable tied to the front panel cables as well so I had to cut that. But uh, I want to do some cable managing in there, as I've already said. So, I've got a bin in here, have I? Not at the minute, it's in the other room. I still can't believe Windows XP actually went on this system fine from being pre-installed on that hard drive. A number of times I've changed motherboards on a Windows XP machine and it throws a hissy fit and won't boot, it just blue screens. Mmm, flat cola. It's the problem with Pepsi, it goes flat quite quickly. So I've just done the chipset, so this is the audio. Which for some reason has a whole load of EXEs, but I'm gonna want the setup EXE, aren't I? I don't know what the others are for. I usually want the setup ones. Give me some audio. Now, apart from that black line on the top of that monitor, it's not a bad monitor. But I've already got a monitor on the floor which has got uh, speakers built in. 
that a friend gave me actually. There is another similar monitor that a friend gave me as well. I'm sure just because I'm into computers my friends just dump the stuff on me that they don't want. <laughs> I could become a dumping ground for crap. Not that I'm complaining. Because the way I see it, if I don't need it or don't want it, I can just ditch it. <laughs> we have audio. That's contrast. There must be a volume control on here then. If it's got built-in speakers, I can't imagine it not having one. It does take a while to boot. Right. Was booting, let's see if I can find some RAM. I have got another stick of crucial here. Which uh Ooh. That's a one gig stick. That vital curiosity, what was the other one gig stick? It's just one isn't it? It doesn't say what it is. So I'm gonna put those together because they're not very easy to come by. Right, it'd be great if I can actually find another pair of crucial memory sticks. I've got two pairs in there. It's not that it matters. I've got another stick of crucial here, that's a 512. Samson. There's another 512. Right, so it's just my LAN, when it lets me. I hope that's the right one. There's two folders to choose from there. PCI was the other one, but I'm not using a PCI one, so I presume it was the other one that I needed. I think this one is another. Oh no, it's not. 112 megs. Why do I think that one is DDR2? I don't think that's DDR. Look at that there. It doesn't look like DDR. Setup has finished. Let's go. So, actually I don't need to do the video card, whatever NVIDIA drivers are installed on this is actually working with that video card. Finian. want them <laughs> obviously right don't want those do I, I don't need those it's gonna get shut down again in a minute right I'm just seeing if I had any more crucial not that it's crucial that I'd put it in there no got some rendition right I'm sure I answered that isn't there Five hundred twelve megabyte stick of DDR two. That can go on there. Do key. Just spin you that way a bit. Right. I should have checked first, but I didn't realise that this has already got Nvidia drivers installed that seemed to be working fine with that video card so as they say don't fix what isn't broken so I'm not gonna fix what isn't broken <laughs> I know I'm in the way bear with me while I grab that I think these are all exactly the same anyway 
It's 32, yep, 3200, so I can put this straight in. I could have put the two one wood sticks in here, plus a set of this, a pair of these, and have three gigs on here, but eh, actually, I don't know what the max is for the motherboard, to be honest. But it'll have two choices, it would either work or it wouldn't. But I think for this sort of build, two gigabytes is enough, so they clip in really, really nicely. So there's that. Uh, I was wondering if it would be better for me to put the camera back over here, actually. Like yeah, I'll be able to stay out of the way a bit better. Right, so I've done that. Let's sort out this spaghetti that we've got in here. I could bundle that up like that. It's not that it matters because we can't see into this case, but it's just that it's annoying to work around all these flailing cables, so this is just a, a future thing in case I need to get into this again. Because quite frankly I'll keep hold of this one, but if my brother does say he wants an XP rig, gaming rig, I'll offer this one back to him. That's one thing I hate about these type of power supplies as well. What? They're just all flailing about all over the place. They're not, you know, together nicely. They've put, made a token effort. There is a cable tie there. Right from behind the video card. Ooh. Put the lock back in. Alright. I actually do have another Western Digital hard drive that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put them both in here actually. Uh, before I put this into the machine. The other one, I think, is 120 gig. I'll do for now. Oh, no, it's 160 gig. Even better. I haven't got much bigger than that anyway in IDE. I don't think. Well, I've got a 400 gigabyte one. So <laughs> I could, if my brother wanted me to, put that in. But like I said, I'll keep hold of this one. I'll find a little cubby hole to put it in. That screw is not going in properly. That one's incorrect screw as well. It's for a Dell system. Let's try this one. front fan as well, better than I before I uh, put this in. Let's, let's finish getting the hard drives in here. Instead of keep switching from job to job. Right. I really do I need to go through this box of screws. Because I'm not actually watching the camera, I thought I was off shot for a second there. Eh? A bit of a wind today. Sun is out then. Just 
hope that fan works. If it doesn't, then I suspect there's a problem with that particular header and I'll have to find an alternative. I think I'm just going to put the one screw in this side. I don't think it's going to need two. There's a fan screw. Might need that. And there's another fan screw. <laughs> And another fan screw, they shouldn't actually be in here, they should be in their own bloody box. Actually I've just remembered, my brother's got some of my screws in his office. No idea where they're going to be now. <laughs> oh, I know what brush I can go and get. Well, couldn't find the brush I actually wanted, but I did find a brush. So, it's a... Uh, We'll poke this old fan first, clean it up, and then see if I can find a replacement. We don't need that plug in there, do we? Um, I don't think these are actually fan screws. These look more like self-tapper screws. Last screw, pop the front panel back on. Ooh. I think it's been a while since that was cleaned. Oh, that's, that's why it's not moving. Because <laughs> it is actually broken. Well, there we go. Yep. Kadooki then. Definitely need a bin. Right, get rid of that. Take these two screws out, out of the way. Well, it is just a little bit of fluff in the front here. That's literally all where it is. I'm just going to try and. Of some of it. Yeah, the motherboard itself is actually pretty clean. Right, the other thing I'm going to do, just for safekeeping, as I don't need these, I'm going to pop these back in here. So. metal tongue on the end there that's got to go under a little plastic tab and that just pushes in and that pushes down right so I need a fan for the front don't I? I need a little one something that size is actually perfect but I don't know how noisy that one is now I know some of these are noisy as hell do we have a chassis fan yes we do we've got two chassis fan headers there so that's fine I can use fans with uh, that particular connector on. Not that one. That one's too big. That one's too big. That one's. Nope. 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 Got to be a yes here somewhere. Ooh. No, oh, that's got four wires on it. That's more like a processor fan. Oh. Got a diddy little one. That's a Dell. No, that from the plug. That one's got the wrong plug on it as well. Really? I had bucket loads of fans at one point. Now I can't find one. That might actually have to be that one then. Mm. Ooh, no, no, that's 
another one that's too small. What we've got hiding up here. Another one with four wires on it. There's one there with a ridiculously short wire on it. And one there with not. I've got plenty here with no plugs on. But I really cannot be asked to sit here and wire one up with the correct plug. So I'm going to have to go with that one for now. Chuck all that up there. Do we have a direction of flow? It should be that way. Yep. Not all fans have the direction of flow on. Unfortunately. Right. Just get the one lined up. One lined up and in. I'll slide the hard drive bay in and get those connected up, powered up, and if everything is hunky dory, I'll start doing some cable management and buttoning everything up. I'm going to put four screws in here though. Right, last screw. A lot of seagulls out front at the minute. Right. Well, that's going to have to go along the bottom. I believe it's actually got three chassis fan headers on it. And that one plugs in there. Right, I think I'm going to turn it on, but there's no point turning it on because I've got this plugged in. And that's got to slide in there. Not like that. <laughs> no, not quite. There we go. So I'm not actually going to put the screw in on there yet. power one hard drive up yet either because I haven't got a Molex connector. I've just realised I'm going to need another splitter. I don't know that I've got one. But that's fine for the time being. Just take that out of the way. That fan's working. That one's working. That's great because it's right in front of the hard drive as well. What's not working is the computer. It may not like that RAM. It might have a, a dead stick or something. I didn't know about. It's not a problem. I'll just find one that does work. But out of curiosity, I'm going to take one out and see what happens. Because it could just be one of these that's failed. You know what, before I piss around with that, I'm going to get them cables sorted because that's driving me absolutely barmy. I don't need this. So, try and get this all folded up in the top round like that. I'm not sure this cable tire is actually going to be big enough for this. Uh, we could do with three hands. Two to operate the bloody cable tire and one to hold the bundle of wire. Right, that's that one done. That's up out of the way. So, uh, 
get this bloody jumble of spaghetti out of the way as well. Ah. Oh, that's the uh, extra four pins that are not needed. Could I actually bundle? Ooh. Might need to put two zip ties together for this one. It's a bit thick, this bundle. So I'm going to go around it. Only just. And then I want to see if I can just tuck that up that side, out of the way maybe. Like that. I think I'm going to put another one around there actually. Around the top here. flailing around but that's out the way up there so it's no problem. Can tuck that up there as well. Yay! I'm getting somewhere in here now. So uh, starting to look tired and what the f right <laughs> what the hell's going on here? What have I done? I can do that. Look at that bundled. Maybe I can get that tucked up out of the way. Getting somewhere. Uh, let's get these ribbon cables plugged back in. I'm pretty certain I've got a Molex splitter. Turn this on and make sure that was me playing around with it, didn't break anything. Here at doing things, I've just got no video output. No signal. Why is that? Trying to do something. Hard drive winding up fine. 
Right, so I got it working. It was a, a video card issue, actually. Um, so I've got two gigs of work. Well, I'll try that again. Two gigabytes worth of RAM installed. I don't know if it's registered yet. We'll have a look. Uh, but it does seem to be working fine. I've got the fans plugged in. The only thing it didn't like is when I plugged in the second hard drive. Yep, and we're coming up with two gigabytes of RAM, so that's all fine. It just came up with boot failure when I wired in that. I've also made a modification here, as you can probably see. I'll just bundle the one, just zoom in. Zoom in, not out. We've got that bundle of wire there. I um, cut off this because I needed an extra Molex and I couldn't find my other splitter. So I did find some of these spares, so I'll just wire those on instead. Um, but yeah, it won't. I might have to take this out and just check that jumper on that hard drive, make sure it's set to slave. Because that could be the issue. If it's not set to slave, it won't boot, it'll um, conflict with that one. But other than that, we've got fan, we've got fan. I uh, can button it up and uh, say that's complete. Don't even have to install the windows. For some reason, when the video card gave me issues, I had to reinstall the um, NVIDIA drivers. They just seem to have, they just seem to disappear. But, uh, booting, booting fine now. We'll see if we can get that other hard drive to work, shall we? But first, I've also found out that one of the monitors I was given actually does not work. <laughs> Don't know if my uh, friend was aware of that, but no, I, I can't get it to do anything anyway, so. But uh, he did give me two, and the other one does work, so not a great loss. I'll just go in the bin. What was I looking for? The front panel, that's what I'm looking for. There it is. <sighs> I've lost my brush again. <laughs> I had it here earlier to clean all the front out in here, and now I can't find it. Just close those drawers. And throw it on the floor anywhere, have I? No, I didn't throw it over on the bed, did I? No. Just have to do that for now. It's got most of the fluff and crap out of it, so... I did put all four screws in the fan, didn't I? Yeah. Right, so that's got to go like that, and I believe what is that? Hold on. Is it just like that. Just like that. Right, so I'm going to sort this hard drive out, haven't I? So I've got to take that out. It's not the cable. I had the cables all around the right way. Cool. I've got that in there now. Now it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm going to have to take the drive out to see the... Uh, what the pin out is on that jumper. In theory, once I've got this to work... I can put the side cover on and say, well, I've got an XP era gaming machine here. Probably could do with a better video card in it, but... Ah, it is on the wrong one. So, in theory... That should set it to slave. That's what we want. Right. Pull this back together. Oh. 
full screw hole had just magically disappeared. But that's just me. Right. I obviously didn't want that screw. Should try again with another screw. I know where it landed. I can actually see it. I tried everything when the camera was off to get this open. I tried changing the monitor to get this open, to get this operating again. But yeah, all I had, all I did was take the video card back out and just blow on the AGP slot. It seems like there was um, some dust or something that might have gotten in there, a bit of fluff. This is a great gaming system if you want a proper old school XP setup, you know, ID drives. <laughs> You're going to be slow. Right, let's try that. If it works, I'm putting the side panel on and leaving it alone. And then this time, well, there we go. I was getting worried that it wasn't going to um, boot out. I did notice there is a bit of a bloated capacitor on here, but the card is working fine at the minute. But if the card fails, and I know what it is, I'll just have to switch out that cap. It's not bloated that much, but I did notice there's a little bit of a bulge there. I want to change that so it doesn't keep seeking to boot from the discs, because it slows down the boot. Are you going to boot? You're going to boot this time. Yeah, that seems to be what the problem was. Jumper setting was wrong. I should have checked that before I put the hard drive in. Right, I'm going to put a screw on there just to hold that bay in place. You know what I'm going to do after this video? I'm going to put the camera on charge, put the footage over to the PC, <clears throat> and set up the other computer. I'm in a computer mood today, so I might as well make some Vidos. Find new hardware, it's installing it. Right. I'm stupid funnels on this, haven't I? Has it recognised? We do have two drives there. Sweet, is there anything on it? Is that curiosity? Well, ah, that might have been why that conflicted because it looks to be Windows set up on the other drive as well. Uh, get rid of that. What I might do is a format drive F. Just a quick format just to get rid of every crap on there. Yeah, format, I don't care. I just hope I haven't been a twat and format the wrong drive. Mind you, I don't think... screws but it's not going back properly either. I'll have to leave that like that for now then. So there we go. And there we go. <laughs> Sweet it is working 
as I want it to work. All the drives are installed, I've got audio, I've got LAN. I don't know why I put LAN on there. I'm not likely to use it, but it's on there. I'm going to shut it down. So, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm not the best at making such videos. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.